Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crone. This is another watercolour demonstration. Thanks for joining me. Thanks to all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crone. Do have a look if you get the chance. Um, load about another 200 videos on there if you can't get enough of them. Um, today I've got like a sort of lovers walking through the woods scene. Lots of foreground shadows and light coming from the back, coming through the trees there. So before we go any further, let me show you the colours I've used. I've not used all the colours on the palette. But the ones I have used are ultramarine, lemon yellow, and light red. So I didn't realise I've only used three, just the three colours. Any course it is, yeah. They're all uh, Cutman watercolours that I use, and then the brushes, most of it done with the large on rans and hate brush, and then I've just got a couple of riggers, a, a three and a zero. Let's start with a bit of a bit of greeny yellow, something like that. I'll take a bit of red. That's going to be the green. Something like so. Now that's just a very basic layout. Now, if I take a bit more yellow. Just random sort of tree patterns in the background. These are Let's introduce a bit of ultramarine, sort of darken it here and there. I'm sort of spinning the, the brush around as I do this, just to try and get random shapes and things, patterns. What I'll do in a minute, I'm going to get the uh, the rigger out and start whacking in some uh, distant trunks and things before this dries. Hopefully, I'm not too late. If I just do a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, I'm going to just start. I need to do this a little bit earlier. So starting off with all the distant ones. Then adding a bit of yellow blue and then adding a bit of red to it sort of darkens it even more then. You know, sort of, these ones are a little bit stronger. That's just red. I'm trying not to automatically I'd I'd get to like panes dry or burnt on back. Now I'm trying to not try different combinations. Of colours I'm already using. I haven't used burnt umber or Payne's grey yet, so I wanted to just try and use the colours I'm already using. A little bit of fine rigor work, little tweaks and things growing over there and everywhere. So this is this will be like the sort of medium layer, the second layer of trees. You can see the difference between this and the first lot. And what I might do is go back into that lemon yellow. This is a bit more flowage and things going on. Doing yellow, blue, a little bit of red in there as well. It just it just sort of darkens it even more. Real dark green. Get a 
bit more. Okay, strong that readies. Just red and, and blue mixes. Just suggesting a few things there on the on the floor. Right, I want to make sure this is flat before I go any further. bit more lemon yellow in there so good nice just keeping it light and this sort of neck of the woods I'm going to start on some really big trunks now. So this time I'm going to go with the, the height brush. I'm just going to go blue, yellow, a bit of red in there as well, just to darken these trunks. And these ones are coming down the foreground, right in the foreground. I've got just enough water just to hold all the hairs together. Put one there as well. So keeping them fairly narrow, I don't want them too, too uh, often I'll, I'll do them too thick by mistake. I'm going to keep these ones fairly narrow and do them in different angles as well. Um, right, let's switch to the rigger, get a few more twigs and limbs on there. So it's the same mix. I'm just coming down and Making a change from all the verticals, these are just going sideways of twigs and branches and whatnot. I do a few up there as well. If you just come into this lighter area, just bring some down there. And this is the, the probably the final bit of tree work I'll do now before I start putting on some more foliage, the, the, the sort of closest foliage to the foreground that we're going to get really. Um, so I haven't cleaned the brush but I'm giving into some lemon yellow Going on pretty, pretty dark now. The shadows up in the trees. Bring that down slightly. A bit of lemon, a bit of light red, such a blue. I'm just going to blend all this together.
Right, we've got a quick dry. I'm giving him with some darks now, so a bit of red, bit of blue. Just a little bit of yellow in there, just making a sort of shadowy colour. shadows from these trees now just following the contours of the land and big shadows coming across there A few darks up there. Give that a quick clean. I think what I might do is just squeeze out a bit of use a bit of neat lemon yellow. Just to put some lighter areas, so I'm just gonna scuff the airs up on here. Let's just take some of that yellow. Um A bit round with the, the light section. Two little dabs amongst the darks. Bits of light amongst the house. I think I'm ready for a couple of little figures, I think. Um, let's switch to the 
zero brush, size zero. And I want that dark mix again. I'm just giving a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow. Gonna have a let's have another person I think actually. going to stick my name down here. Pull that one. Pull that one done. So let's stick a mount on that, see what it looks like. So here we have our finished painting in the mounts. <clears throat> so if we have a closer look at it, the main part, I wanted to get this sort of shadow area really contrasting against that light coming from the distance. See where we've got three layers of trees, we've got the most distant ones there. Put in. I waited slightly too long. I should have got them in slightly earlier. The, you can see how the paper was starting to dry, so the strokes were taking a little bit more uh, difficulty. Then you've got the sort of mid, mid range ones like these, and then right the, into the foreground, the dark ones that I put in with the height brush using the darkest tones. Got little bits of rigor work in there, and you can see where I've used sort of neat lemon yellow, and then try to get as much range as possible through to the, the sort of darkest areas of foliage with the trees are, trees are in shadow. Plenty of shadows in the foreground. I kept this path light just so that the shadows would show up better, cast straight across. Then I'm on a slight diagonal, keep it more interesting. Put a few little bit of a sort of highlighted yellow spots amongst the darks there. And then this path leads us up to our lovers there, just on the edge of the, the woods. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks as always for watching. Um, if you do get a chance, join me over at uh, patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Loads more videos and all sorts of goodies over there. Post your own paintings on the community page. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.